Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do want to thank you guys very much for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing um, my videos. For each and every single one of you that watches my videos, thank you guys so very much. I truly appreciate it. You guys are quickly growing my channel and I am so humble and thankful for that. For those of you guys that have came to me for candle magic spell work, uh, private consultations, I am so blessed and so thankful, uh, truly excited and very blessed to hear the feedback you guys give me and the quick results that you guys get. Ultimately, that's the purpose and the reason why I do what I do. So know that and thank you very much. If you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. If you guys have recently contacted me, please be patient with the emails as I do go through thousands of emails and, you know, YouTube is not my only social media outlet. I also have other ones. So please be patient with that. I'll try the best I can to get back to you guys as soon as possible. So let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the middle of November. 2017 you guys have one card popped out already which is the the star card okay let's see what spirit has for you guys libra 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 spirit gets what are the messages for libra's mid month of november 2017 regarding the love and romance love and romance Okay, let's get into your reading. So you have the star card, Libra, the two of swords, the seven of cups, the justice card, partner's cards is the hanged man, the three of pentacles, the eight of cups, the two of cups, and your current situation, please give me the current situation card, oof. Okay. All right. Libras. Wow. Okay. So Libras, for those of you guys that are single, your current situation is singlehood. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the nine of pentacles definitely represents singlehood, but it also represents um, being in, you know, you guys have been, for those of you guys that are single, okay, particularly, you guys have been single for quite a while now. The Nine of Pentacles definitely speaks about um, being okay with being single and almost enjoying it or loving every single second of it. But I feel that the Nine of Pentacles is definitely in the reverse position as I am feeling the shadow side of the Nine of Pentacles. So this is being fed up with being single. You guys are definitely looking towards wanting to be in a relationship with, or put effort towards building a relationship. Okay, now for those of you guys that are married, the Nine of Pentacles could definitely represent having or struggling at the present time in regards to money and finances, and that's the reason why there's been a bit of miscommunication. Now, the Star card, these are your cards, Libra, or how you view the situation. You have the Star card. The Star card definitely represents hopes and desires, but it can also represent wishing. Uh, the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords definitely uh, with the Star card. Okay, so what this is telling me is that for you guys, for most of you Libras out there, uh, you guys have been hoping or desiring um, to bring or to get a new opportunity. The reason I say that is the Two of Swords speaks about being stuck and not wanting to make a choice. And you're not wanting to make a choice because you have multiple options. The Seven of Cups is here. Um, but it can also represent having multiple options that you're not interested in. So, again, for some of you guys, you know, you guys do have suitors, you know, both male or females. It is a general reading. So, again, there's definitely opportunities there for something, you know, long term. But I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys just haven't found the person that is right for you. Um, for those of you guys that are single. Now, the justice, the justice card does represent karma, but it also represents because the star card is the wish fulfillment. And the Justice card is almost a new opportunity. So it could be a person that you dealt with in the past that perhaps um, didn't progress or the relationship didn't progress the way it should have, uh, whether it was circumstantial or whether it was because you stepped out of the relationship or the other person stepped out before it actually became something solid. Um, 
so the two of swords is you not wanting to make movement or not wanting to move on, meaning wanting to move on to another relationship because you fear uh, that that person um, from your past was uh, almost a soulmate or had some type of meeting of the minds. So for some of you singles, what this is telling me at the present time is that you're tired of being single. But the reason why you haven't moved on with another person has to do because you continuously keep going back to a person from your past that you felt both were aligned, meaning you guys, uh, you guys met during very weird circumstances or you guys came together um, during very difficult situations and that was something to do with the reason why you guys are no longer together. And there is a feeling almost knowing like you guys were soulmates and you have that fear of moving on or, you know, completely detaching yourself from the situation because you fear that you may miss out on something that was, you know, very spiritual. Okay. Now, how your partner is viewing the situation is the hanged man. The hanged man, um, seeing they started to see not just the relationship, but they started to see you or look towards you in a different light or in a different perspective. The three of pentacles definitely represents work. So it could be that um, you guys recently reconnected either in the same job or that you connect with that person or communicate with them through their work. Okay. So I know it's not going to resonate with everyone, but I'm definitely picking that up with the three of pentacles. So they're looking towards, they're looking towards the relationship in a very different light or looking towards you in a very different perspective. There is definitely a walking out of this relationship as the ace of cups, the eight of cups is here. The eight of cups is definitely talking about, um, missing a person. I, I'm sensing more of the missing than walking away. But I know for some of you guys, again, like I said, it could be that you're missing or that they not, um, they don't dwell on the past, but perhaps subconsciously they're still emotionally connected or emotionally invested with you as well as the two of cups is here. So it's the missing of the relationship or the missing of you and you're picking that up or you're sensing that as well. So is this karmatically aligned yes it is because the star is there the eight of cups the justice and the two of cups so for so, for those of you guys that are married what this represents is at the present time you guys have been struggling again like i said for some of you guys you guys have been struggling money wise um you guys are almost in a suspended type of energy like you're just waiting there's something about waiting um, but the two of swords is you guys are not making the movement. You're not wanting to make the movement based out of fear. And the three of pentacles here definitely talks about, um, you know, working in the night, or it could be that you're overthinking at night. Uh, the seven of cups here definitely represents illusions, but it can also represent, um, having desires and having fantasies about making things better, um, and having the courage to actually pursue something that you're wanting to do or your partner is pursuing something that they're wanting to do. The Eight of Cups definitely talks about, um, for some of you guys, it could be that you guys were struggling money-wise and decided that maybe a partner would go off to their family or that you would go off to your family while you guys got bet on better terms in regards to business and finances, mostly, you know, finances. Um, but there is definitely a walking away from the relationship, as I do see the Three of Pentacles can also represent a third-party energy. So it could be that you stepped out of the relationship or your partner stepped out of the relationship based on the fact that the hanged man, they got tired of waiting or they got tired of you not making up your mind, Libra, and they decided to walk away. But you guys are currently missing or thinking of each other constantly as the Eight of Cups is here and the Two of Cups. So again, um, it is karmatically connected. You guys are either uh, soulmates or it is kar a karmatic debt uh, that you guys are going through at the present time. Um, I know this is not going to resonate with everyone, but the messages can't, do come through very strongly. Uh, for those of you guys that are in a serious monogamous relationship, again, like I said, it could represent that um, someone stepped out of the relationship and based on that, uh, you or your partner decided to walk away from this relationship, but it's like, it's almost like you guys are 
being given signs or, uh, you know, you hear their name and it's almost a, a, a reminder of that deeper connection or deeper, um, a deeper connection you guys had, spiritually speaking, um, because I definitely do see a soulmate type of connection here, okay? So, for those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a while, again, like I said, there is opportunity for communication or for um, reaching out to this person. I feel that if, in fact, you decide to reach out to the person, Libra, it is very important to speak from your heart and be completely honest with them, as they will appreciate that much more other than, uh, you know, just telling them what you think they want to hear. Uh, because the justice card does speak about karma, but it can also represent you need to be completely honest because the opportunity, uh, if it, in fact, it was you, the one that walked away from the relationship and it's you, the one that reaches out. If you're wanting an opportunity, the opportunity lies based on the fact of if you're honest enough um, to take full responsibility for whatever was done in the past and come to them completely honest and transparent. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. If you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below, and we will see each other soon. Okay, bye.